Hello guys, I'm David Stiabudi and today I'm going to coach you to answer the pseudocode question. And it's about creating a simple calculator pseudocode. You know calculator, right? Now, in this question, it's asking you to input a number the first number and then it will ask you to put the second number and after that it will ask you to input an a mathematical mathematical operator which is symbolized addition subtraction multiplication and division okay the user can choose one of the operator if you put another operator it will cause error and if the user enter this hashtag in the operator this will ends up the software calculation if the user enter plus the normal one minus times okay uh, or this one is for the division in the operator entry then the calculator will start so let's say you put five as the first number and then second number is three then you choose for the operator is plus so the result will be five plus three is Eight. so it will show the result a after one cycle calculation is done after you put the question and you get the answer it will repeat again oh it means it's not just a conditional statement it's not just plus minus and then when you get the answer and it's done no there is a repetition here. It will repeat again to us for the first entry, second number entry, and so on. It will repeat again and again. So there is a loop structure here. The repetition will always occur except the user enters the hashtag symbol as an operator. Now, let's start. The first thing you need to do is bring this for font into a courier new. Here, you type down print. Here, the first one is asking you to show the text simple calculator. Simple calculator. Okay. Then you can press shift enter or enter is up to you. And then asking for first number entry. You can put here input first number. If you just put this one as an input first number and then input second number, in the computer will only show an empty box an empty box and then you need to answer okay but the user won't know as as a user we don't know what is the question so you need to put a question here because this one is asking for the first number entry you need to put here is a print print in the capital letters Okay, and then please put the first number. Okay, and then, or maybe you can remove this, please. Put the first number, okay, just to make it short, or just first number. It's okay, but then it's better for you to do this. Put the first number 
and you can copy paste this one as a second number and the last one is the operator okay you need to ask for the operator put the operator but you need to clarify which operator to choose is it just plus and minus okay additional and subtraction so here you need to limit this one into put the operator whether it is a plus or just put like this plus minus okay you can just put like this and we need to put a note when we put the hashtag here or sharp symbol here hashtag here so hashtag to stop the calculation or calculator hashtag to stop the calculator okay now this one is the operator when you create a pseudocode the common one the in the questions okay in the test or in the exam there are three steps the first step is to obtain the variable that you need to process okay let's say here you are asking about the first number second number and the operator okay to obtain the variable that you need the second one is to process this first number second number and the operator it means you need to put a formula or anything that process this inputs okay to process this inputs that is the second step the third step is to present a result okay now we are reaching the second step which is to process so the formula okay that we use here is there are four formulas it's not just one it's not just addition okay it's not just subtraction but there are four so since there are four it means we need to use if then else or we need to use the case of here i'm going to use the case okay case blah blah of and then end case this is one set okay you need to type like this and this one so in the any sentence okay any snippets in between this case of and end case so there's a set you need to indent a space two spaces so okay we type down like this case what and then this one we need to put the sentence okay so case operator operator of okay this one is if the operator is plus then this is what we need to do so the the result because we are going to present a result result insert symbol is a leftward arrow in a lot of programming it will just use equals to but since we are in the pseudocode we need to use this symbol okay leftward arrow if the result is equals to 
or we present this as a leftward arrow, if the result is equals to, then the result will equals to first number plus second number. Okay, this one is a string, so it's just a symbol when the user put this as an input in the operator, but then only this one is fully functional, okay? But you cannot type like this. This one won't add first number and the second number. This one will add the real number, okay? Now, for the next operator, we need to paste like this and like this. Two spaces, two spaces, and then you need to put minus here, minus multiplication times division, divide. Okay, this one minus Okay, so after you're done with this operator, you need to know that we can put this hashtag symbol or shop symbol, okay, in here too. Okay, but the result is not a, um, a process like this, but instead the result will be an information which is ends up the software calculation. calculation. So, process ended or Stop this calculator or calculator close. Calculator close. So the software will inform you the calculator is closed. But then we need to use the other input. You see, let's say you put a percentage or n or brackets here. If the user do that, you put this one, otherwise, the result will be error. Okay. After the second process is done, the first one is to get an input, an entry for the variables to be processed. The second one is the process. The third one is to present the result. Okay, you need to do here, what you need to do here is print the result is comma result. Okay, now if the question is just a conditional statement, okay, so it's done. But as you read here, it requires a repetition, a loop structure, okay, it's not just a conditional statement. But then this one, after one cycle of calculation is done, it will repeat again and again to ask for the first number. Repetition will always occur, except the user enter the hashtag symbol as an operator. So, there are choices, okay, for the repetition. The for to next, that one is limited. So, let's say you are going to repeat one until ten times you can use four next 
but since this one is unlimited repetition so you can do a forever loop except when you press this hashtag it will stop so you do this using repeat okay you need to add here okay this whole process okay this is one set one big set you need to put something on the top something below so to make it repeat again and again so here we need to put the unlimited repeat it means we use the repeat and then the last one is until repeat until okay it will repeat and this is until this is one set since it's one set repeat repeat and until is one set you need to put this one two spaces in that okay so this one will be adding two spaces adding two spaces for all for all Oops. Okay. So repeat until, but this sentence is not yet finished. Repeat until what? Okay, so you need to put something here. Until what? It doesn't mean until, until what? No, you don't type like that. So, repeat until the result is hashtag. If the result is hashtag, then it will stop. Repeat until, so it said, repeat until the hashtag result is until the result is hashtag so this one is done if you want to put it in color let's say this one just to make you understand so here it is I will zoom out for you so this is the answer for the calculator guys you can always check so let's say you are imagining that this, this is the first number okay so let's do this imagination to check whether the pseudocode is already correct so it will show this Put the first number, the first number is 5, put the second number is 3, put the operator and then you press plus, okay, you put plus here, so the result will be 5 plus 3, and then after this one is done, it will, it won't do this since this one already done. Is only choosing one so print the since the result here is 5 plus 3 is 8 so the result is 8 okay and then it will repeat until the result is hashtag but the res result is not hashtag okay so it will repeat wait a minute the result will never be a hashtag how come the result will be a hashtag? So, the operator here can be a hashtag. So, this one is a mistake. If you deliver like this, you never check it. You thought everything is already correct. It will make you get an unperfect mark. So, you need to do here is operator.
it is important for you to check and recheck again and again for the pseudocode. Okay, so this algorithm will put you, uh, since the result is 8, okay, and the operator is not a hashtag, it will go up again here, and then asking the others, and then let's say this time we are putting hashtag. Case the operator is hashtag, so the result is calculator close. And then it will print here, the result is calculator close. Okay, then the operator is this one, then it will stop. Stop. Okay, but if we put this operator, let's say input operator and you type David or you type a percentage or let's say you put brackets or you put a question mark. So it won't go here, it won't go here, but then it will go to the otherwise result error. Print the result is error, but it still repeats and it will go up. Okay. I hope you enjoy my coaching for this pseudocode and creating this simple calculator. And if you like my tutorial and you support, please subscribe and press like. <laughs>